Ever looked up at the stars at night and really thought, are we alone? What if I told you that some figures in astrophysics say we still don't fully understand nearly 99% of the universe we can see? We have only cataloged a very small part of the universe. Every star, exoplanet, and galaxy we have found is just a small part of what's out there. There is, however, something very strange going on right now. NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA, have finally shared the long-awaited high-definition images from the flyby of the mysterious interstellar object known as 3I Atlas by Mars. This comes after weeks of strange silence and growing speculation. As someone who has studied theoretical physics for 50 years, I have to say that these pictures have completely changed how I think about what I thought was possible. What we are seeing here does a lot more than make us question what we think we know about comets and space junk. It makes us think again about the line between what is natural and what is artificial, between what the world makes and what intelligence could make. It's not just about finding a strange rock floating through space. It has to do with finding a tool, a probe, or even an old piece of intelligence that might change the way we think about life in the universe. The release itself wasn't a big deal. Nothing official was said or held at a press meeting on October 24. NASA's planetary data system got the files late at night in a quiet way, as if to let the findings speak for itself. Within hours, astronomers from all over the world, from amateurs to top astrophysicists, started downloading and studying the data. What they found sent shockwaves through the science community around the world. These pictures were taken by the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. They show 3I Atlas when it was 18 million miles away on October 3, when it was closest to Earth. This is an amazing close encounter for a visitor from another star system. High Rise, which can see things smaller than a meter on Mars's surface, took pictures of Atlas that don't make sense based on how things work in the universe right now. We can see details smaller than a city block with the high-rise camera's high sharpness. This is incredibly clear for something that is tens of millions of miles away. And what those pictures show is unlike anything that has ever been seen in the history of planetary science. Let me quickly describe why these images are so deeply unsettling. When scientists watch normal comets get close to the sun, they usually see the same set of behaviors. A bright, icy core surrounded by a glowing coma, which is a halo of gas and dust made by melting ice, and often a tail extending outward that is shaped by the sun's rays and the solar wind. These are the signs of natural cometary action, which we have seen many times in different parts of our solar system. But none of these things are true of 3I Atlas. Not at all. That's the first big red flag. They're not there. Things coming from deep interstellar space should be unstable. As they warm up near the sun, they should boil off gases and shed layers of ice. It doesn't mean that it's made of something much harder and stronger than ice or porous rock. We might be looking at something made of metal, or it could be made of something we don't know. Instead of a body with a jumbled natural shape, the high-rise images show a body that looks almost like it was designed by a computer. The center mass has geometric regularity that doesn't happen very often, if ever, in nature. We thought the structure would be bumpy, asymmetrical, and potato-shaped like asteroids and cometary nuclei, but instead, we see smooth, angular lines crossing each other with an uncanny accuracy. This center shape is surrounded by three separate parts that stick out at almost perfect 120-degree angles, creating a shape that looks like a tripod. This level of uniformity couldn't have been caused by any known natural process, not even gravity accretion, impact fractures, or tidal shaping. 
That balance is important. From a technical point of view, a tripod is one of the most stable setups that can be used to support a platform, an antenna, or even a sensor array. Each limb is about 1.2 miles or 1.9 kilometers long and gets shorter as it gets closer to the end. The way they taper is mathematically beautiful. But the analysis of the materials is what really worries experts. Spectroscopic data added on top of the high-rise images show that these parts are made of a different material than the main body. As expected for carbon-rich compounds or basaltic rock, the main structure has a low albedo. This means it absorbs most of the sunlight it gets and looks almost black. The three arms, on the other hand, bounce back more than 90% of the sun's rays into space. That level of efficiency is on par with polished titanium or advanced photovoltaic materials. It's the kind of precise reflection you'd expect from engineered solar panels or energy management systems, not from space junk. These results do not show intelligence on their own, but when we look at them all together, the exact shapes, the different types of materials, and the strange reflectivity, they point to something that is much bigger than any natural development we've seen so far. This strange mix of a dark, heat-absorbing core and highly reflective surfaces around it has become the main mathematical puzzle in the 3 i Atlas mystery. In engineering terms, that's called a deliberate paradox, a system that both takes in and sends out heat at the same time. This kind of arrangement suggests a high level of functionality, possibly for controlling temperature, collecting energy, or even moving forward using the pressure of the sun's radiation. A similar idea to the solar sail technology that our scientists have only just started to fully understand in the last few decades. This morning, Dr. Sarah Chen of MIT's Cavalier Institute for Astrophysical Design put out a full report on the high-rise data's photometric study. It's clear what she found, and it's very scary. The reflectivity signature doesn't match up with any known natural mineral or crystal structure, she writes. The surface is optically perfect down to wavelengths of 200 nanometers, which is a level of regularity that would only be possible with precise manufacturing and not natural crystallization. Take a moment to think about that. Precision production is being talked about for something that may have been drifting through interstellar space for billions of miles and years, an item that might have come from a star system we may never find and was made by hands or machines we can't even imagine. As experts, we know how to avoid making things that are too shocking. At the start of every study, we rule out all possible explanations that make sense. The scientific method is based on this process of systematically reducing the number of possible outcomes. We don't draw crazy conclusions right away. We only get to them after all the other ones have failed. So, could these shapes be the result of some strange sublimation process in which heat from the sun changes volatile ices into geometric shapes? Not at all. Basic thermodynamics shows that that idea is wrong. 3i Atlas was about 18 million miles away from Mars at the time of the discovery, which is about 2.1 astronomical units from the sun. Surface temperatures are about minus 238 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 150 degrees Celsius at that distance which is much cooler than the point at which water ice or carbon dioxide could sublimate. In temperatures this low, ice acts like stone. It is hard, breaks easily, and can't be reshaped into precise shapes. What about impact cratering? Could these extensions be random shapes made by several collisions? Once more, the math doesn't make sense. It is thought that less than 1 in 10 million times that three separate hits will happen at exact 120-degree intervals, creating features that are all the same and symmetrical. And the proof goes even further. Spectroscopic readings show that the limb's material makeup changes throughout their depth, not just on the surface. This means that these aren't just surface-level spots or mineral deposits. They are structural traits that were built on purpose. About 18 hours after the first set of pictures taken by HiRISE, the European Space Agency's Mars Express probe took its own set from a different angle. From every angle, the forms stayed the same. They were sharp, symmetrical, and clearly three-dimensional. This rules out any optical illusion, shadow distortion, or artifacts in the image. Then the most terrifying truth came out. The mirrored parts look like they are facing straight at the sun, as if they were following it. 
That's not how a rock that's falling would act. It's called active alignment. It means controlling the attitude, aiming the body in a certain way to either get the most energy from the sun or get ready for a gravity assist maneuver, actions that show intention. We have to face the most awkward question of all at this point. Who or what built this thing if it is actively positioning itself? Now I need to answer the question I know a lot of you already have. If the evidence really is this strong, if it really does point to a fake origin, then why was it kept secret for three weeks? Why didn't NASA and the European Space Agency say anything after the flyby on October 3rd? People in charge say it's because of the government shutdown that started on October 1st, just two days before the meeting. NASA stopped talking to the public and most of its analyst teams were given time off because operations had stopped. This does explain the gap on paper. In real life, though, it doesn't make sense. The high-rise camera is fully automated, so it would have taken the pictures as planned even if there were problems with politics. The information was sent back to Earth through the Deep Space Network, where it was safely kept and processed by computers. Still, those pictures didn't become public until October 24th. That's an unusually long silence for a finding of that importance, even when you take into account the time it takes for paperwork, calibration, and picture cleaning. Several people in NASA's Planetary Science Division and I have talked off the record in the last few days. Their accounts are not official, but they both show a worrying trend. They talk about heated arguments within the company, last-minute meetings, and hours-long talks about whether and how to share this information with the public. One scientist told me something that has been bothering me ever since. We desperately looked for a natural explanation, anything that would make sense during those three weeks, he said. We didn't find anything. To be clear, this behavior is not new. The trend of carefully managing information has been seen before. When Oumuamua, the first known cosmic object, sped away from the sun in 2018 for no clear reason, important spectroscopic data was kept from scientists for months. When Borisov showed up in 2019, it looked a lot more normal, but some of the facts about its path took a while to come out. The rate of revelation slows down every time an interstellar visitor does something unexpected. The walls get stronger. The wording is more careful, filtered, and planned. It's possible that this warning is meant to be helpful and stop fear or false information, but it could also mean something deeper, a quiet institutional awareness that people are on the verge of a revelation that could change the very nature of society. It's important to be very clear about what's at stake. If 3i Atlas is fake, and the pictures we're seeing really show a man-made object from outside our solar system, then this is more than just proof that intelligent life exists in other worlds. It's proof that someone has been watching us. Something or someone has sent a device across the void between stars for some reason we don't fully understand yet. That changes everything. This has effects that go far beyond science. The world's markets would react right away, and religious groups would have to face deep spiritual reckonings. Governments would have to deal with issues of privacy, security, and working together that no other government has ever had to. And maybe most importantly, no one can guess what will happen to people's minds when billions of them finally realize they are not alone. Still, even though things are unclear, I see reason to be hopeful. Fear of the unknown has caused wars, superstitions, and divisions between people for hundreds of years. But it has also made us learn, build, and reach. If this discovery is proven to be true, it could be the time when we stop seeing ourselves as separate pieces and start realizing that we are part of something much bigger. They are here, might not be the real word of 3i Atlas. There could be something much deeper going on. You are never by yourself. Scientists have always made progress by facing the unknown head-on and letting data question our beliefs instead of forcing data to fit our comfort zones. People were angry with Galileo when he first said that Jupiter had moons because he dared to say that Earth wasn't the center of the universe. Even though people denied it, 
those moons kept going around in orbit. It's not true that the world exists to keep our pride or make us feel important. It just is. Huge, uninterested, and beautiful. 3i Atlas will get as close to the sun as it gets in five days, at perihelion. Along with it, a group of smaller objects will move through the area of strong solar heat and radiation. This will be the test that will reveal what this object really is. If these buildings are natural, the heat stress might break them apart, letting us study the pieces to figure out what they're made of. But if they are artificial, they might do something even more amazing. They might do an orbital insertion move, using the sun's gravity to set a stable path within our solar system, or they might send their smaller companions to places we can't even imagine yet. The Galileo project, which is being run by Professor Avi Loeb, is ready to go. A network of observatories on six countries will keep an eye on 3i Atlas during its perihelion passage, even when the sun is very bright. Infrared cameras will look for signs of heat, and radar arrays will measure very small changes in speed with a level of accuracy that has never been seen before. We'll get the information. We are going to look at it with great care. We will follow the facts wherever it leads, even if it leads us to a scary place. What do these pictures really mean? Are we seeing the strangest natural event ever seen on record? Is this a cosmic accident that is so unlikely that it goes against every law of physics? Or are we looking at the first known example of interstellar engineering? Is it a probe made by a society that is millions of years ahead of ours? Things will start to clear up in five days. One thing is certain, though, even before the data comes in, the universe is much stranger, more complicated, and much more amazing than we could have ever thought. History shows us that the most important science revolutions don't usually start out as simple confirmations of what we already know. They come out of nowhere and force us to rebuild the very roots of what we think we know. No matter if 3i slash Atlas turns out to be real or not, it has already done something amazing. It has made us interested again. It made us remember that certainty kills finding and that our species is still young and learning how to crawl through the vast, dark space. In the end, maybe the best thing that a guest from the stars could ever give us is the humility that comes from realizing how little we know. No matter what 3i slash Atlas turns out to be, one of the most important lessons it teaches us is how important it is to be humble. People have thought for hundreds of years that they are the center of everything, the highest level of reason, and the only ones who can make knowledge. But this object makes us think of a disturbing truth. We might not be as unique as we think. Our knowledge of the universe is still very limited and built up from small pieces of information. It's like a tiny island floating in an ocean of wonder that we can't even begin to understand. Not having all the answers doesn't make you wise. To get it, we need to be brave enough to ask the right questions and humble enough to accept the solutions, even if they change everything we thought we knew. How about you? What do you think 3i slash Atlas really is? A natural wonder or a strange event in space that we have never seen before? Or is it the first clear sign that we're not alone? Leave your ideas in the section below and I'll read as many as I can. Also, if you like this kind of in-depth, evidence-based research and want to keep up with this mystery as it develops, make sure to subscribe and stay with us. Because no matter what 3i slash Atlas is, one thing is for sure. You only need to be brave enough to look up and ask why the universe is the way it is.